हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग अमेजिंग वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइट लूप रोबोटेक एंड ऑटोमेशन टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू एन एक्साइटिंग टॉपिक हाउ टू इंटरफेस आई एल आई नाइन थ्री फोर वन टू पॉइंट एट इंच टू फोर्टी इंटू थ्री ट्वेंटी टी एफ टी एल सी डी डिस्प्ले विद आरडिनो नैनो लेट स जम्प स्ट्रेट इन First let us take a look at circuit diagram. Here we have 2.8 inch TFT LCD display and Arduino Nano. The LCD is connected through the SPI interface and here are the pin connections. CS pin is connected to Arduino pin 8. RST pin is connected to pin 9. DC pin is connected to pin 10. MOSI pin is connected to pin 11. CLK pin is connected to pin 13. LED pin is connected to the 5 volt output. Now let's talk about resistor and voltage level. The LCD operate at 3.3 volt level and the Arduino run on 5 volt. To handle this voltage difference, I have used a 10k resistor between the LCD and the Arduino. For the LED pin, you will need a 220 ohm resistor to limit the current. As for the SPI and signal pin, I have added 10k resistors in series. to ensure stable performance and protect the component with this setup in place our circuit is ready now it is time to move on the arduino programming first open the arduino ide go to library manager and type adafruit ile9341 in search bar you will see adafruit ile9341 library appear click install then choose install all it might take a few minute so be patient Now library has been installed so again go to library manager and search adafruit gfx you will notice that the adafruit gfx library is already installed if it is not installed so click on install now let us move on example code go to file then example and find adafruit ile9341 let's try out graphics test example code once code opens We need to make a few modification. Remove these lines and uncomment this LCD specific instance. Okay? Define all the LCD connection pins according to our circuit. Now the code is ready to upload. Go to tools and select the correct port. In this case, COM6 is correct. Set the board to Arduino Nano. And for the processor, select 80 Mega 328P old bootloader. Finally, let us upload the code. Wow the code has been uploaded successfully You can now see the LCD is printing various graphics and animation How cool is that All right friends I hope you enjoyed this video If you did please give it a like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share it with others thanks for watching